All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is up? ADS Play 101 here, and welcome to a lot. It's, it's been a minute since I did one of these, since I, since I did a reaction video. But welcome to another episode of The Feels, my reaction series. And I'm going to start doing more of these. I have to. I mean, I got a nice little setup going. Like, you know, I finally got like a nice table, you know what I'm saying, for my laptop. Got a new gaming laptop finally. And, uh,. It's a lot of videos that I need to start reacting to. So I think we're going to get back into the habit of that. I think, you know, I got the next couple of days of work off. So I think I might be able to scrounge a couple videos that I've been having on a back burner. But um, today we're going to be taking a look at some more footage from Street Fighter VI. Um, I think it just got released yesterday. So let me, first off, let me shrink this. First order of business. Now why the hell didn't it do that? the whole group come on now gotta love when it, when, it, when it messes up a little bit so I'm going to mute myself and I'm gonna turn this webcam off so that we can get like a full well matter of fact I think I'm gonna keep it on due to copyrights you know you know how YouTube is matter of fact what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shrink this There we go. That way we can get more of a clear view of what we're dealing with. So I'm gonna mute my microphone. I'm gonna go to the go to the trailer, let it play out. Then we're gonna then we're gonna go back and see if uh, there's anything we need to talk about. There's a, there's a couple things I'm worried about though. I mean, this is trailer. I'm pretty sure they're gonna announce that it's alpha footage or whatever, beta footage or whatever. But um, don't mess up Chung Lee's face like you did in Street Fighter V. Don't show us any revenge mechanics, which I know they're going to do anyway, because it's Capcom. Like, you can't expect them not to mess something up. Um, uh, just show us something to get excited about and not something to be worried about. I guess that's the best thing I can I could ask for. So with that being said, let's uh, turn this on and see what we see what we working with. First off, nice. If, if this is a stage, I'm with it. It looked like downtown uh, New York. Let's loop. When you go looking for strength, it's not like a game. This journey doesn't have a real ending. Okay, then. Ready to begin. If you want to start off on the right foot in this city, hit the streets. Yeah, hey, there I do it. Never fear loose. And when I get up in the game, yeah, I'll be improved. A real prowler, but I saw him on Facebook. And if you think I'm going to fall, then you told me fuck out. Yeah, okay. What is it, open world? An open world Street Fighter game? Really? Okay, at least Chung Lee looks good. Who the new girl? Jamie, okay. Oh, look like they're doing focus attacks. Or at least a parry system. OK. 
Okay, it's giving me something to get excited about. So they so wait a minute, this is a free roaming Street Fighter game. Okay, hold on. You know I gotta mute this. I don't have any background music to play, so you guys gonna have to forgive me. But uh <clears throat> I guess I can They got my attention. Cause first off, they got uh a free roam and open this is an open world Street Fighter game some people might not like that but I, I actually like the idea I just hope that they don't make the characters that you're using playable in the actual online multiplayer because I think that will be OP as hell because you know people gonna try to make the characters the most broken thing possible but let's get into some of these moves though I still want to know who this girl is, because she clearly is playable. Wait, hold on. Let's see. I wonder if that name... If that name is... Maybe if you can understand... Maybe? If you can understand Japanese characters, or maybe Korean characters or something? Like, I don't know. This is this, this like Japanese kanji. Or... Hiragani, but... I can't make out what it what it is. I'm wondering if that's the name, but th yeah, either this is Chung Lee's student, her daughter, or both. And if it is her daughter, who's the daddy? But still, clearly that's a student. She training somebody. So she finally took up the, the mantle of a of a teacher, of a sensei. And whoever this Jamie dude is, he reminds me of Duck. From King of Fighters. So. He got my attention. So it was a couple things during these fights that got my attention. So. The combo seems bare bones. Looks simple enough. Um, hopefully none of it's one button. Because Lord knows we don't need none of that. So, I don't know if that was supposed to be a super. Hold on. Like that right there. I don't know if that was supposed to be a super or what. That's clearly an EX move. The EX is the orange glowing. That right there. So, this is like a parry move right here. This is a parry move. The inky, like the inky like spray paint. So they're going to have like an, an armor move or something like that. So I'm assuming they're going to have armor breaking moves as well. I mean, if they had that. So that's interesting though. I actually like that. Because that actually gets my attention. I hope it, I really hope that you have to use meter for that. Because if we don't have to use meter, I don't, I don't, man, that's going to be some scrubby desperado nonsense. Even with the meter still. Like you just know what to expect. And does Luke not have on shoes? You know what? Never mind. <clears throat> that right there okay never mind that was reuse EX but he's glowing different colors so I'm, wait hold on was he parrying that or is that a perfect guard or something I wonder if that's like a perfect block that looked like a parry system like check that out hold on That looks like a parry system. So from what I can tell, they don't have the V-trigger system in the game. At least just judging off what they're doing right now. So that's a plus for me. Because that V-trigger system was like... It, for people who played Street Fighter V, you understand the gripe with, with the V-trigger system. It was like that they were. It's almost like they were. They were rewarding you for losing. You know, it's like the more you get beat up, the faster the gauger fill up, and then people would just activate it and they get all these. You know, what I'm saying, bonuses from having the V trigger activated. So that right there bothered me, if we're gonna be honest, uh, as well as many other people that played Street Fighter Five. Um, 
But I will say this. I like the whole... It's one thing that people probably not really getting a hang of. It's, it's like they're trying to take it back to that. It's almost as if they're trying to give it that Street Fighter 3 feel. Where they tried to incorporate hip hop in it in a little bit. Could you, could you do see like the graffiti spray paint. And you hear a little bit of hip hop in there. Which is always welcome. Because people have been begging for. You know what I'm saying. That that sh that feel from Third Strike. People have been begging for it. For years and years. And as far as who's actually doing the song. It sounds like Infinite. If you don't know who Infinite is. He was the guy who did the themes for Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. He was the guy that did the things for, for, for Third Strike, and it kind his whoever's doing this this uh six theme, it kind of sounds like his voice. So if that's the case, it, it kind of got me excited that they're bringing back Infinite. If that's the case, but they didn't, but they never made an announcement as to who exactly is is the uh, is the voice for the theme. But most definitely, it, to me, it sounds like Infinite. Um, in this hub right here. This right here is, is cool. So it's kind of like they took pages from Arc System Works and they kind of like made like a an arena hub, an online hub for, um, that was my phone. It's like they got, they have a hub for online matches, which I'm pretty sure they can use for like some tournaments and things like that. Or maybe the big screen in the back right there might be used for like, Say, for example, if, if they wanted to highlight a match, they could do so on that big screen. That way everybody can just, you know, sit down and watch it, um, spectate it. Um, it looks like the, the battle hub and all that extreme. I don't know what that could possibly be. I'm pretty sure they're going to have some options to where you can like customize your character and all of that. But so far, I'm actually impressed because it seemed like they took some took some gripes this Jamie do remind me of Duck so much I swear but um no I'm impressed with what they tried to do it's like they're trying to bring back some elements of Street Fighter 3 Third Strike and Street Fighter 4 which I'm open arms for and I'm glad they changed that damn Adobe Photoshop logo into something more serious <laughs> I mean of course they was gonna do it but this definitely reeks of potential and I'm definitely happy that uh they showed this off of course no release date because this way off we probably not gonna get, obviously we're not getting this until 2023 if this comes out during the holiday I'm gonna be like man at least have a beta out during the holiday so people can get a feel of the game if if you're going to do that but you know like whatever that uh that gauge is supposed to be, I think I'm seeing some videos on the side. Supposedly that's called like the drive gauge. Uh, Perry's the input's been simplified, so I'm gonna take a look at like some online articles to see what describe like how did, how they're describing it. But so far, I'm enjoying what they did. I mean, I'm impressed. It it it, it doesn't have me disappointed outside of you know just a the combat itself it doesn't have me disappointed as much as i think it would be um you could tell that, that they simplified the the inputs just by watching the just by watching the little bit of fighting that they did but well, but it wasn't anything to make me sad it got me kind of interested in in the game you know it didn't make me disappointed so i'll say that so Ladies and gentlemen, that was my react my reaction to to the Street Fighter Six, uh, the Street Fighter Six trailer. I'm I'm liking what they're doing. Hopefully they don't mess this game up, and hopefully they learn their lesson for what they did from Street Fighter Five. You know, so <laughs> that's my only thing. So thank you guys for watching. Peace. See you guys for another ADS Play One Hundred and One feels.